The respected C20XE or Red Top has been a part of the European tuning scene for literal decades at this point, even though it has been surpassed by more powerful and more technically advanced engines. The XE has been fitted to anything from a Mini to a Fiero. The 2 litre has been used in many applications and has proven to be able to make some impressive power figures. Now before we get into why people love this engine so much, let me get into the history and making of the Red Top. The motor was originally signed off by General Motors in the mid 80s. The engine was produced with an eye on motorsport and being successful in many racing series. The C20 XE came into production as an evolution of the 20 XE engine. Incidentally, the 20 XE engine was a further development of the 1987 8 valve 20 NE engine. Now in 1988, the 20 XE was introduced with a 150 horsepower output. Now the 150 horsepower was less compared to the 157 horsepower the previous engine made. This was due to new emission standards, which forced manufacturers to spec their cars with catalytic converters. Now the 20XE was fitted to a whole bunch of different Opel and Vauxhall models and it was widely used in motorsport. Now with many specialist and race versions, this motor is still revered and sought after by enthusiasts today. Now after the C20XE came the turbocharged C20 LET. The C20 LET was identical on the surface apart from a black plastic plenium and a shroud with the turbo words on top instead of the SFI. This version used forced Marley pistons with a lower compression ratio. Now in addition to adding a turbo, the power figure was also higher and the C20 LET made 200 horsepower over the normal 150 the XE made. The stronger pistons and lower compression made the C20 LET a super easy platform from which to build. So why is the C20 XE still so loved if it has been surpassed? Well, like I said previously, the C20 XE was used in many different cars. This means that they were quite easy to come by, which makes the engine cheap to buy and use in other cars. This is why you can find a C20 XE in so many project cars. I mean, you can see them in minis, even little Corsa bubble shaped cars. They fit into practically anything and they don't cost a whole lot. Another reason why people love this engine so much is because of the success the engine brought Vauxhall and Opel in the racing scene. I mean here in South Africa the C20 XE was used in the Opel Cadet GSI Superboss which took on the likes of BMW in our local racing scene and with this engine the Superboss firmly stood its ground. Now why is this engine so good in the racing and performance scene? Well the internals of this motor is stupid strong and over engineered. From factory, the pistons are semi-forged with a relatively high compression ratio. Now high compression is bad for forced induction, but it is great for naturally aspirated performance. The corn rods are also good for up to 300 horsepower and then comes the crankshaft. The thing is practically indestructible. All these over-engineered parts means that tuners could go crazy. Seeing a 300 horsepower naturally aspirated C20 XE isn't uncommon. And then you get the forced induction gang who drop the compression and add a big turbo. This can raise your potential max power figure to 500 horsepower, which is not to be scoffed at. Now I have seen C20 XE blocked motors that make upwards of 600 horsepower, but then you go into the fully built motor range. Now to me, the C20 XE is to Europe what the B20 was to US and Japan, a cheap 2 litre that has a whole lot of potential when you start to play around with performance parts. I love building cars, so all the engines that are is huge in the tuning scene just interest me a whole lot. So if you want to see any more videos on specific engines, leave a comment below and I'll make like a video on that engine. Now if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many more videos just like this one, like I did a video on the 4G63, I did a video on the 2JZ, the N54, the list goes on. So just go through my channel, I'm sure there's something you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?